The first novelty cake I ever made on this channel was a stack of pancakes. That cake was delicious. It was vanilla cake with blueberry inside. I'm gonna do it again, but this time I wanna make chocolate pancakes with Nutella. <laughs> To make this giant stack of chocolate Nutella pancakes cake, I baked 10 and a half pounds of my ultimate chocolate batter. Now I'm going to level them and cut each cake into two layers. It's time to simple syrup all six of these chocolate layers with the help of Sir Squeeze-A-Lot. I am giving an old cake idea new life so it can continue and blossom. It's a re cake nation. <laughs> the syrup has soaked into all six of my layers. I'm putting each one on a board and then I'm going to crumb coat it with chocolate ganache. Mm. This, is, this cake is all chocolate. Chocolate, some chocolate, some Nutella, and some chocolate. Mm -hmm. Once I've crumb coated each cake, I pop it in the fridge to chill. Ganache sets up really fast and really well. In the meantime, I'm going to need a lot of chocolate fondant. <laughs> this is going to create the outside look of my pancakes. Roll out each ball of fondant into a circle that is larger than your cake and then drape it on top. And with the excess of the edges, normally I press that in and smooth it and trim it away. There will be no trimming. We're gonna take that excess and we're gonna fold it underneath itself. And then use your fondant smoother, but as you go around, really press hard. And I want it to look a bit rounded. I'm trying to wear down that edge. Now what I wanna do is texture the sides that the fondant that we folded under and kind of looks, and, and you know, wonky here and there. I wanna texture that because you know when you cook a pancake, how it sort of bubbles. So we wanna create a little bit of that texture on the side. I'm using a ball tool and I'm just basically going all around the circumference. And then I also thought that my turkey skinator would really help. So I used that, I just folded it in my hand and pressed it up against the side after working with my ball tool. I'm very happy with the texture. Now that you've got one perfect pancake, make five more the same way. These pancakes look great, but I do need to paint the top of them to look like the, the surface of the pancake that hits the griddle. I could use brown food coloring, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try and mix together cocoa mm. and vanilla oh. and make a paint. Oh, wow. I'm really liking this. And more good smells in the kitchen. So, now that my pancakes are painted, I'm gonna put them in the fridge and let them dry. And in the meantime, you know what they say, it's banana time. They do? No. <laughs> They say it's hammer time. Hammer time, banana time, right? <laughs> no. The blueberries that I made out of gum paste on my original pancakes have been reincarnated mm -hmm. into bananas. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful thing about reincarnation because they both begin with B, but it's taken a different fruit form. Yes. It's a reincake nation. So bananas. Well, I had a banana as a model. I peeled back a bit of the skin so I could see the actual banana. I'm gonna color my fondant to the color of a banana. What colors do you think I used, Jocelyn? Ivory. No, see? no, no, wait. There's, I did what's not. What's your new favorite? I did it's, not. Um, I used fog. Oh. <laughs> a, it's called fog. There's a color called fog? So I used uh, buttercup yellow, golden yellow, and fog. All the yellows I had would be way too bright yes. to get this color. Yes. So the fog is kind of a neutral and a gray and it just dulls down and takes out all the brightness of the yellow. And once I had the color right, I then rolled it into like a big log that was a little tapered at the ends. <laughs> There's no texture yet or anything, but it's just it's a, big, a, a big log. banana. Okay, so now I need to texture this banana. And the first thing I do is take a sculpting tool, a veining tool, and I run it along the length of the banana following the curve. And then between those lines, there are lines that run across. And so I was just dragging my veining tool into the banana in both directions between the lines all the way along the banana. 
I wanted it to look brown, but once again, using food coloring would be way too dark. I don't want it to look rotten, just natural. So I decided to paint the fondant with vanilla. Now I'm gonna let the banana dry for a bit, and when I feel like it's, it's sort of set up enough and the vanilla is definitely dry, uh, I'm going to cut the banana into slices and just sort of round out the banana and texture the part that was left untextured the same way I did before and also paint it with vanilla. And when I looked at a real banana, you know what I loved about it? It looks like a Y. Like it's actually kind of divided in three. I like it. I really, I felt like it was a sign during this re Cake Nation. Of what? Like, why is for Yolanda, Yolanda. Oh. So anyway, I use my sculpting tool and I indent the Y on the surface of each banana. And then I make a little indent like between all the triangles of the Y. I'm just, I literally have a sliced banana. I'm looking at it, I'm trying to mimic it. And now I have to make a paint for the surface of my banana. So I knew I wanted to uh, create the paint into piping gel because bananas have that like slimy texture at all times. And I'm just gonna paint the entire surface of the banana with that paint. So you can see the sides of it are way more matte. Yeah. And then the top is that sort of slimy texture. Before I plate my pancakes and put this whole cake together, we need to talk about something. I make cake art, but Dan Cakes makes pancake art. Get it? The pun alone. Dan I mean, you should know he's good. <laughs> Dan cakes, I mean, this was meant to be, right? Oh yeah. Dan pancaked my face, and I'm gonna watch it for the first time with you. Oh, look at me and my brows. My brows look done, Dan, thank you. Wow. You're worth it, yo. This is, this is cake level. Dan cakes, this is cake level. Oh, look at, oh my gosh, this is so interesting. Oh, here comes the hair. Dan, I'm sorry, I got a lot of it. Oh my gosh, wow. There's like shading and texture and everything. He just put pancake all over it. What? Oh, cool. I guess he flips it. That's how we make sure it stays together. Here I go. Oh my, have you seen it? <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. Are you joking? <laughs> oh wow. It's totally me. <laughs> I have been pancaked. You're not really anyone unless you've been pancaked, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, and speaking of pancakes, it's time to plate my pancakes. So, I'm gonna put a pancake on the plate. I'm gonna spread on some Nutella and I want it to like drip down the sides. And then I'll add another pancake and keep going. Remember, these are, these are not restaurant pancakes. These are the ones you made at home. So I kind of set each one just a little bit off center each time. There was a lot of Nutella. <laughs> There's a lot of Nutella footage, don't worry. And now I'm gonna add my bananas here and there as if they've been thrown on, but were definitely not thrown on. They were placed. And then I'm gonna place some Hershey's Kisses like chocolate chips. And let me tell you, this cake looks so good sliced. It looked so good, so good. Before I show you how good this cake looks cut, I just need to ask you, have you ever wanted to bake with me in real? Life. Like real life? Real life. I am teaching a novelty cake workshop at the SoFlo Cake and Candy Expo. This year, it's taking place between April 24th and April 26th. This year, we're making my coconut drink cake, which is one of my favorite cakes. It's in my cake book. I dedicated it to my mom. It's perfect for Miami. <laughs> There's only 25 spots in the class, so if you are interested, click the link below to reserve a spot for yourself. First of all, I think we should reveal the re Cake Nation. Show them the cake side by side. Show them the before life and the after life. For more cakes, check out my playlists here and here, and I'll see you next week. 
for another. Reincarnation.